is that season where people like to head out to the pumpkin patch and we send Mikey on a mission out at a loon farms today. Yes, it's almost like tradition, especially during these Halloween and Thanksgiving seasons. And there he is, Mikey Moniz, live at a loon farms. Good morning, Mikey. How's things going? What up, Tanya and Chris? Um, okay, from a mouthful of air to a handful of pumpkin guts, I'm going to be showing everybody um, probably not how or how not to carve a pumpkin. Or, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or, how to carve a pumpkin. Yeah, or gun out a pumpkin. Okay, everybody, this is Alex Su, and he is the president and general manager of Alun Farms here on Oahu. Um, Alec, let's talk about Alun Farms and where you guys are located. We're in central Oahu, just below, outside of... Um, Waipahu, mm -hmm. and we've been here since sugar ended in 95, and we're thriving. It's been a long journey. This is our 42nd year in farming. Wow. You know something that I kind of just learned recently is that Alun Farms is open year-round, right? Tell us what, um, what people can expect to see um, throughout the rest of the year, besides just pumpkin picking during October. Oh, well, year-round is in we're in business year-round, but the pumpkin event is really just mm -hmm. October. Usually we'll have an education tour out here. Um, it's weekdays, but this year because of COVID, we can't have it. And even the last three weekend of public event, we had to scramble and modify a bit because we didn't know when it was gonna, uh, what's gonna be allowed, when it's gonna be allowed. But we're glad we're somewhat open, loosening things up, and we modified uh, just a very family-oriented event, um, casual, open air, clean air, and just come out here and enjoy the family and pick some pumpkin. Yeah, and you know what, by the way, to mm -hmm. all of our social media people out there, the best place to get some pictures. So I just gotta oh, say, yeah. speaking of, we're looking <laughs> at pictures right now. Um, while I carve out this pumpkin, uh, could you tell us a little bit about the activities that people can do here during um, this weekend, during Hollow Weekend? Is Halloween like weekend. <laughs> well, we hope people will get dressed up for this Saturday. Um, okay. We might even go around and give uh, special prizes for all those that want to get dressed up and come out in unique okay. uh, character. Um, there's modified events. A lot is with COVID protocol, but we okay. are going to allow for self-pick. Uh, we'll monitor the spacing between people, okay. but self-pick corn mainly. Really? Um, we have to eliminate other events. There's no hayride, fortunately, okay. and we're okay. very um, sad by that. But. Uh, it's you're allowed to roam a lot of the open fields here in different uh, pumpkin patches the corn field and we'll have some food but right. the big feature will be of course pumpkin and then we have the Elune Farm Eversweet Market That's so the exciting. market will have a lot of fresh produce um, harvest within you know the day of being uh, display out here for everyone that's exciting okay um, he did mention some pumpkin picking now I'm going to be honest, I didn't really <laughs> grow up gutting out pumpkins. Okay. Um, I have a spoon here, but I feel like it's, I even got on my shirt. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, no should, I just, should I just, just dig? dive in? Okay. As long um, as you, the, the trick is to cut the top uh, first and dig in and then, yeah, pull that out like you're gutting a the wild pork. Wild pork? <laughs> ah, okay, it's going to slimy. Um, what do you look for um, in a winning pumpkin? Definitely creativity. Really? And a lot of time you see, if you look closely, there's a lot of mistakes in cutting. Really? And there are good carver who don't need to draw, pre-draw things. You can tell some of those drawing, are, uh, if there's scratches okay. or pen mark yeah, left over. Yeah, yeah. You don't want any of those mistakes. We want it to look as perfect as possible, yeah. right? Creativity, unusual character. Um, there's also ways to, like, in tone different depth of the skin uh -huh, uh -huh. to show different shade of, of you know, what you're trying to expose. Okay. So all of that, um, idea, creativity, um, texture, you know, a lot of carving. Uh, the more uniqueness, difficult carving, okay. um, we'll likely get the, the winning prize. The winning, okay. Yeah. Um, now, I have been here last year and it was so much fun. And I got to say, it was kind of nice to oh, come good. out after a year of being cooped up. What's yeah. the best part, in your opinion, of the Pumpkin Patch Festival every year? I think it's just seeing familiar faces, uh, familiar family who's been yeah. here. And we've seen family who's been here 16, 17 years, year wow. after year, and you see the kids growing up. Yeah. And it's that's the best feeling. Right. Plus, 
Plus, it's kind of nice to like, you know, be in doing stuff back to normal. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so the reason why I'm carving this pumpkin is because I'm sending it back to Tanya and Chris right now. And Tanya, I am challenging you to a pumpkin carving contest. And this is your little pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alec. Tanya and Chris, back to you. Tanya, this is for you. That's Thank cute. You. Yeah. You know I'm going to bring it, though. I mean, if, if I can judge based on how he was doing <laughs> that part, I think I got this in the bag. <laughs> I know. I couldn't stop watching. <laughs> Why are you so animated? He couldn't wait um, to get done with that. He loved it, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I love it. You can tell he's right at home.